I mean, we're definitely lucky. We lost everything, but we have our lives. I'm going to die. I was scared. That scared me to death. I wouldn't imagine losing my mother in just a heartbeat. Everybody here is family. Everybody's really close to each other. You know, today marks one month since tornadoes hit North Texas, causing widespread damage across Denton, Cook, and Collin counties. The community of Valley View was hit especially hard that night. The National Weather Service reports an EF3 tornado traveled from Monte County through Valley View to Lake Ray Roberts, and then an EF3 hit Collin County near Salina. Seven people were killed that night, the youngest of them just siblings, just two and five years old. More than 100 others were injured from those storms. Uh, we're going to bring in our meteorologist Maria Ruiz here because that storm came near the end of a very active, severe weather season. The story just heartbreaking. Yeah, and Cleo, really this year alone, we've had 20 total tornadoes. On average, the entire year, we see 28. And that weekend, a total of five. And like you mentioned, two of them were EF3 tornadoes. But really, that was just towards the tail end of a very active spring. I know this is a lot to take in on this graph, but I just want to show you. This is from the National Weather Service. This is how many severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings they were they they issued and this is really takes into consideration every year for the past 15 years. Here's 2024 and that line is really high. It actually shows over 400 severe thunderstorm and tornado warnings issued during the springtime. This compares to 2023, 2015 and 2011, really closer to 2015 and 2011. So uh, about a decade ago uh, and not only was it active for that, but also active for flash flood, flash flood warnings. Uh, over 100 issued this year alone, and this really only compares in the last 15 years uh, to 2015 when we did see a lot of rainfall during that spring. We've had over 28 inches of rain at DFW alone, putting us at the top five for wettest springs on record and definitely plays a factor in how much humidity we feel going into the rest of these summer months. Speaking of, that's why those heat advisories issued We'll talk a little bit more about that coming up in just a few moments. All right, Mariel, thank you. We know many of you are still picking up the pieces from the storms this spring. FEMA has several disaster recovery centers open around North Texas, including one in Valley View. This is a map of some of those locations. You can find a full list on FEMA's website, and they're open each day from 7 in the morning till 7 at night.